My name is Batula Awale. I work with WWF Kenya and I'm here at the conference to present the case on the Lake Naivasha Basin Payment for Ecosystem Services. Um, Lake Naivasha is an Aramza site. It's important for uh, floriculture and cut flower. Lake Naivasha is world famous for flower production. Other important activities that go on in, the, in Lake Naivasha include fish farming, tourism, we have uh, other businesses, geothermal energy. Under the PES scheme, basically it's a model pilot designed to promote sustainable natural resource management and to pilot a PES mechanism. It's actually a learning pilot and uh, we are hoping that it can be, people can learn from it and can be replicated in all parts of the world. Under this scheme, the downstream users who are mainly flower farmers and uh, vegetable growers reward the upstream farmers for foregoing some of their land for good agricultural practices and they reward them to ensure that water trickles down, downstream, clean water. This is a voluntary scheme and uh, we have uh, Lana Rua, who are represented by Lake Naivasha Growers Group as the buyers, and two water resource users associations who represent the sellers upstream. Um, it has been quite successful model. Uh, but only very, very recently we have come to the first end of the first phase, where a total of 13,000 US dollars was paid to 565 farmers. Each farmer receives a voucher of 17 US dollars and this voucher is for farm inputs. They will be um, redeeming the voucher to buy farm inputs. This has been a successful model and we hope that uh, during this conference, after the presentation and the marketplace, I will be showing a video that people can learn much, much more from this. There have been major challenges. We have now very many sellers on board and only one buyer. We want to encourage the people of Lake Naivasha Basin to join the buying scheme and uh, work with the upper catchment communities under the public-private partnership for a sustainable Lake Nevasha. Yes, definitely, especially from uh, my account about Pablo, I learned a lot from what's happening in Ecuador. So uh, I already have several contacts from some of the conference participants, many who want to learn more from me and many that I can be able to learn from. So I'm happy to be here at the conference to learn how we can be able to develop PES as an important tool towards developing a green economy.